Android 12 development for Redmi Note 7 is going crazy fast and there are many stable port rooms available too. And in this video, we will have a look at Pixel 5a stable port room. As you can see, kernel version which is Predator Stormbreaker X 4.8 QTI which means it supports QTI haptics. And for device settings, most of the thing is similar as we saw in custom rooms. Under display settings, we can find some useful features which is available from Pixel devices as it is port room. So you can enjoy those features in your Note 7 as well. Features like now playing, always on display and some other features which are located somewhere else. Under auto rotate screen you can enable face detection which can help for better screen rotation. If you are looking for some custom room or port room that supports Monet aka wallpaper based theming by default then this port room supports it where you can select different colors from wallpaper colors or basic colors and then you can adjust app grade also there is toggle for dark theme and themed icons under privacy settings you can find privacy dashboard mic camera access clipboard access and other privacy related settings so here are the pixel features that i mentioned previously and here you can find quick tap which works fine but it isn't accurate double tapping back set doesn't work as accurately so i need to tap 69 times to make it work so it works in the end but it is very useless there is swipe fingerprint for notification gesture too but it isn't working. Then there are some other gestures too like quickly open camera, lift to check phone, one handed mode. Under press and hold power button there you can find hold for assistant which brings assistant instead of power menu if you press and hold the power button. Quick setting styles for mic, camera access and device control is available and then there is extra dim tile as well. Searching anything from app or search bar will search for other places as well and if you tap enter then it will open the first suggestion. As you can see it can search for anything on device and it can also search inside the app without the need to open that app. So the safety net is passed by default and for rooted users you just need to enable magic card and as you can see I'm not using any module. Also the wide one is L1 by default. So both of the benchmark test has been done with Mystic X 7.9 and the Geekbench score doesn't look so great. But the CPU throttling test results looks very impressive as you can see there is no CPU throttling detected. And the test was done with 100 threads. So now let's see how does it perform in gaming. Wake the fuck up samurai. We have a city to burn. Go, 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 Stepping up to repair our teleportation device. Wait a minute. Easy job. Ooh, piece, ooh, piece find us and provide some support. Oh, you might actually learn some objects to shuttle in and out. 12 o'clock midnight. Outside the defensive umbrella, they can't stand the storm. Oh shit. Stop rolling my side. It is destroyed. We'll be torn to pieces by the stormy seconds. Bastards are here, guns are loaded. Let's get this started. You're under attack. <laughs> Playing games with stock kernel is not so great as it is very laggy and you can't even run background apps which uses very less resource. So due to this I changed kernel to Mystic X 7.9 and it is way better. 
and then I finally recorded gameplay at 720p. Even after changing kernel, it is a little bit laggy but it is way better than stock kernel. As with stock kernel, I was not able to play the game at all. If you own 3GB RAM variant, then this port room is not that great for you as it is very laggy. After using it normally or running multiple apps without closing the background walls will cause the system to lag and then it will become unstable and finally the system UI will crash. So the bug that I faced was my audio quality was worst just like Arrow OS. So I disabled mic permission from Google app and it works completely fine now. So the main problem of this port room is performance issue otherwise it is pretty good and stable. Future builds might be way better than this. As of now it is the beginning of Android 12 so there might be some issues with it. Also I forgot to mention that game dashboard is working completely fine as you can see screen recording is on and down below is the FPS. And here is the performance that I was talking about as you can see it restarted the game by just opening the game dashboard. Like what the hell? And I forgot this as well. So as you can see widget color is changing according to the wallpaper color as well. As you can see when I move it to the left side where the wallpaper color is pink it changes the widget color as well. And when I move it to the right side it changes to dark blue. And the wallpaper colors that I selected is completely different. So that means it is picking up wallpaper colors directly instead of going with device theme. Take this to your grave.